Here's how to fix the YouTube app if it's not working on your iPhone or Android. Now, if you're on YouTube and maybe it's not loading or it's glitching or it keeps crashing, I'm gonna show you how to definitely get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now open up the YouTube app here. And if you're not able to see anything, the first thing is just swipe down. This sounds really simple, but just try to refresh the YouTube app. If that doesn't work, let's swipe up and close out of that YouTube app completely. So exit out of it and open it up again, see if that works. If that still doesn't work, let's check your internet to see if that's the issue. So swipe down from the top right here, toggle on airplane mode. This will disconnect from your Wi-Fi as well as your cell data, and you're just gonna reconnect to it. Everything basically reconnects, and you'll be able to see if it's an internet issue causing that problem. If it's still not working, let's head into the app store because potentially there's a bug or a glitch in that YouTube app and you just need to update it. So tap on the search bar at the bottom here and you're just gonna type in YouTube. Now, what you're looking for is next to YouTube. If it says update here, just tap on the update button to get the latest version. But if it just says open, then you already have the latest version. If you're still running into issues here, let's go into a web browser. So on iPhone, you can do Safari or Google Chrome, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna type in, is YouTube down? We're gonna check to see if there's a server issue. So go to down detector, which is a great option here. And once this loads, you're looking for a huge spike in reported outages. This could be the reason why it's not working. Essentially the YouTube servers could be down and causing the app to not work on your iPhone or Android. If you go through all these steps and it's still not working, let's check into the settings of your iPhone. So go to the settings. Let's go back to the beginning here. And the first thing that you can do is scroll down towards the bottom, tap on apps, and then scroll down until you find the YouTube app towards the very bottom. So find the YouTube app here. And now on here, you'll be able to see things like local network. If that's turned off, I would recommend turning that on as well as cell data. If that is turned off, make sure that is turned on as well. And the next thing that we will do is we'll get out of here. We'll scroll up, tap on general, and then scroll to the bottom, hit transfer or reset iPhone, tap on the reset, and we're gonna just reset your network settings. This fixes a lot of issues with things not loading on your phone. So just enter in the passcode here and then reset those network settings. If you're still running into issues, there could be some issues in the YouTube app itself. So let's open up the YouTube app again and tap on you at the bottom right. After you've done that, you can see the gear icon at the top right. Let's just tap on that. And now from here, let's tap on general at the very top. You'll be surprised how many times the location in here randomly changes. So tap on location, make sure it's set to your country. That could be the issue. And on here, you wanna uh, also check through everything. Make sure restricted mode is not turned on. If it is, turn it off so that you're able to see any videos. Now, after you've gone through all of those steps, if it's still not working, I would recommend shutting your phone down. So press and hold the volume up and side button, and then just swipe to shut your phone down and then completely boot it back up again. A lot of times that fixes bugs and glitches. And the last thing I would recommend doing is getting back into your settings here. Let's go back to the very beginning of your settings. We'll tap on general and then iPhone storage. Now from here, you're gonna find that YouTube app here. There it is and you're just gonna offload this app and reinstall it. This deletes out all the cache and temporary files and force updates it to the latest version. So I would recommend going through this process. If you're on an Android, just clear the storage and clear the cache, and it should be up and running. Hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.